This is gonna be an updated guide for ExpressLRS. Now it doesn't really matter if you have a radio with ExpressLRS built in or a module like this. If you're starting ExpressLRS for your controlling to your aircraft in 2024, a lot of the guides out there are outdated and they're way too many steps. It's actually very, very easy. And the reason why it's easy on 2024 or later is because everything that you're going to buy is likely to come shipped out of the box with ExpressLRS 3.0. That means that you don't have to do any sort of flashing. So let's get to the steps directly. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is update the bind phrase on your radio. So you're gonna click the sys button, go to the ExpressLRS Lewis script right here. Then once you get in there, all you need to do is scroll down till you see Wi-Fi connectivity, click that and hit enable Wi-Fi. Now that you have your radio's Wi-Fi turned on, you're gonna go down to your Wi-Fi and pick Express LRS TX. That's for the transmitter and hit connect. Now, normally a browser window is gonna pop up automatically, but if it doesn't, you can just open up your own browser and go to 10.0.0.1. Now, if it does prompt you for a password, the password is gonna be Express LRS, all in lowercase for the Wi-Fi password. Now, the thing that you wanna make sure is that you can see Radio Master Boxer internal TX module and that it's firmware revision 3.2.0. As long as it's 3. anything, you're good to follow these steps. So you're going to go down to binding phrases and you're going to put your bind phrase here. Now this can be a single word, can be your pilot name, can be whatever you want and that's what's going to be on all of your Express LRS radio and receivers and that's what's going to allow them to connect to each other. No pesky pushing binding buttons or anything like that. So once you have that, you go down, hit save and reboot, and then you'll see a little success icon on there. Upload succeeded, and you're gonna hit reboot. After you've done that, you can go ahead and back out of the settings on your radio. You can turn it off, and now we're gonna do the drone. Now you're gonna have your drone that has Express LRS built in. It doesn't matter if you have a receiver installed like this or if you have a Whoop that has a UART-based Express LRS connection on there. Now, if you have SPI-based, you can actually enter in the bind phrase directly into Betaflight, but almost everything that ships now is gonna be a UART-based, which means you're gonna to have to follow these steps. So whether it is a larger quad like this or a small quad, the steps are the same. All you're gonna do is plug it in and power up and you're gonna wait about 30 to 60 seconds. Somewhere in that, your receiver is gonna start flashing fast. That means that Wi-Fi is on and it's gonna be able to connect to your computer and you'll do the last steps on your computer. After you connect to your quad, you're gonna go down, do the same step, go to Wi-Fi, and you're gonna find Express LRS RX. That's the receiver, and you're gonna do the same step. You're gonna to connect to it. You're gonna see a very similar browser window pop up. Now you can see Express LRS. It's gonna tell you what type of receiver, and you're gonna tell you the firmware that's on it, and it's three point, et cetera. It doesn't have to be exact match. As long as they're both three something or greater, you are good to go. So next thing we're gonna do is put the same bind phrase that you put the last time. It has to be exactly the same. And then what you're gonna do is hit save and reboot. After that, you are good to go. Now, both things are gonna have your bind phrase on them. Once both of those steps are done, you can power cycle. So now you can just turn on your radio, have it on your Express LRS model. Then you can plug in your Quad. Now, if you have telemetry activated on your radio, you may hear that telemetry recovered and you're ready to go. Now, you may need to go into Betaflight and set up your switches if this is the first time you're ever doing that, but there are plenty of tutorial guides out there. This is just to get Express LRS. Here's my arm switch right here. And as you can see, it is now spinning the motors and let's take off. And there you have it guys. As you can see, if you're going through all those guides that ask you to flash and do other things, those are outdated. This is all you need. So if you have a friend that's jumping on Express LRS in 2024 or later, these are all the steps you need to do and go ahead and share it with them and we can get more and more people up in the air. I'm gonna put a full review to this that's coming out very soon. This is the HD0 Mobula Eco. Uh, bind and fly that is going to come with HT zero on board, which is pretty cool and check out any other things on the channel. If you'd like to know more or see some narrative story driven content that we make here as well. Thanks guys.